in this video consider one example on rc circuit a voltage of unit height and width t is applied to the circuit shown below at t equal to 0 determine voltage across capacitance c as a function of time this is the given circuit here the input signal is vi of t which is having the magnitude 1 and width of the signal is t so at t equal to 0 the switch will close we supposed to find the voltage across capacitor that is vc of t so in this problem we need to calculate vc of t that is voltage across capacitor so here we can see that the input signal vi of t this signal can be split into two signals as this is a unit step signal having magnitude 1 plus if we add this with this is the time t this is 0 and we have t here at t equal to t add one negative step signal so magnitude of this is minus 1 if we add these two signals then we will get this signal so here this signal is nothing but 1 u of t this is minus 1 u of t minus t therefore i can write vi of t is equal to u of t minus u of t minus t now taking laplace transform i can write v of s is equal to 1 over s minus 1 over s e power minus s into t so this is the signal v of s that is nothing but the input signal represented in Laplace transform. I will call it as equation 1. So now here let me apply. Assume at t equal to 0 the switch will close. That is at t equal to 0 the switch close. Let me apply KVL to this loop. I can write Vi of t is equal to let current flowing into the circuit is i of t r i of t r i of t plus we have voltage across capacitor is v c of t we will call it as equation 2 here we can see that v c of t is nothing but 1 over c integration of i of t into dt so from this i can write i of t is equal to i of t is equal to c d by dt vc of t call it as equation 3 so therefore now i can write equation 2 as therefore equation 2 can be written as we have vi of t is equal to r i of t is nothing but equation number 3 that is c d by dt vc of t plus vc of t we call it as equation 4 so now we will take laplace transform of equation 4 that is taking laplace transform of equation 4 i can write v of s is equal to we have rc which is constant rc laplace transform of d by dt vc of t is yes vc of s minus v of 0 where v of you can write vc of 0 which is initial voltage across the capacitor at t equal to 0 should be re represented like this and plus we have laplace transform of vc of t is vc of s yes. so anyways the voltage across capacitor that is initial voltage across capacitor is zero so this term will become zero therefore i can write v of s is equal to rc s yes, vc of s yes plus vc of s yes. or i can write v of s yes is equal to I will take Vc of S common 
वी सी ऑफ एस इन ब्रैकेट आर सी एस प्लस वन सो फ्रॉम इक्वेशन वन वी कैन राइट वी ऑफ एस इज नथिंग बट वन ओवर एस माइनस वन ओवर एस ई पावर माइनस एस टी देर फोर आई कैन राइट This is one over s minus one over s e power minus s t, which is equal to V C of s in bracket R C s plus one. Therefore, I can write V C of s is equal to one over s minus one over s e power minus s t whole divided by this will come as a denominator R C s plus one. Or I can write it as V C of s is equal to one over s minus one over s e power minus s t divided by here I will take R C out of the bracket s plus one by R C one by R C. Further I can simplify this as I will continue here. V C of s is equal to. I can represent this as one upon R C. I will take it as common. On numerator, I have for the first term I can write it as one upon s in bracket s plus one upon R C minus. I have. One into e power minus s t divided by s in bracket s plus one by r c. So now let me consider this term as v one of s and this term as v two of s. Now let me simplify this separately so that uh, the simplification will become easy. Therefore, I can write v one of s is equal to we have one upon s in bracket s plus one by r c one upon s in bracket s plus one by r c. So I can write it as v one of s is equal to by fraction partial fraction method a divided by s plus b divided by s plus one by r c. So by now we'll try to find a and b constants. I'll take the LCM of this. V one of s is equal to s in bracket s plus one by R C. A in bracket s plus one by R C plus B S. So comparing these two equation, I can write new denominator is same here. So numerator is one is equal to A in bracket s plus one by R C plus B S. Now we'll try to find the constants A and B. So put s equal to minus one by R C. So in that case, this entire term will become zero. Therefore, we'll get one is equal to minus one by R C into B. Therefore, B is equal to minus R C. Similarly, put s equal to zero in same equation. So here this term will become zero, and here this term will be zero. We'll get one is equal to a into one by R C. Therefore, constant a will be equal to R C. So therefore, I can write the same equation v one of s as v one of s is equal to a value is R C. Divided by s yes, minus R C divided by s yes in bracket s yes plus one. I will multiply that v one of s yes by one by R C so that I can get v one of s yes is equal to one upon R C in bracket the same term R C by s yes minus R C divided by s yes plus one upon R C. So therefore, I can write v one of s is equal to r c. R c will get cancelled. One by s minus 
1 upon s plus 1 by rc so now taking inverse laplace transform i can write v1 of t is equal to 1 upon s is 1 minus inverse laplace transform of 1 upon s plus a is e power minus a t that is t divided by rc u of t so we'll call it as equation a therefore v2 of s is equal to so v2 of s is nothing but e power minus s t divided by s in bracket s plus 1 by rc now by taking inverse laplace transform we get v2 of t is equal to it is same as previous one e1 minus e power minus t minus this t that is by time shifting property we will get it as e power minus t minus t divided by rc so this is the inverse laplace transform of v2 of s this by time shift property so so from this equation vc of s is equal to v1 of s plus v2 of s vc of t is equal to v1 of t plus v2 of t here we have minus in between therefore vc of t is equal to so v1 of t is 1 minus e power minus t by rc u of t minus we have v2 of t is 1 minus e power minus of t minus t by rc u of t minus t so this is the voltage across capacitance c which is in terms of time Thank you for watching.